that. And Paul, you started bright and early this morning during our <laughs> extended coverage on Good Morning Cleveland. Yes, I did, but I might catch a sunset tonight, Janita, so it's been worth it. You know, this is the main ingredient in our recipe for this morning's stealth attack by Mother Nature, wide open Lake Erie, and when the cold wind is just right, you get what we got this morning, a big mess. By early afternoon, traffic in I-90 in Cleveland's west suburbs was moving just fine again after a frustrating Friday morning rush hour. Lake effect snow squalls triggered heavy snow and wind overnight. Schools closed, side roads snow packed and deserted. I 90 traffic crawling. Welcome to the snow belt west. I went slower, but I did give myself a little bit of extra time. Janine Steffen drove from Strongsville to Rocky River for work. As she drove north, the driving conditions got a lot worse. Strongsville didn't get hit as hard. Yeah, usually this is a uh, snow band and, uh, you know, east side stuff, but uh, kind of caught us off guard, but, you know, we got to be ready. Ballas Builders Plows busy, clearing half a foot of snow overnight. John Ballas' job made even tougher by strong winds and frigid temperatures. When it's cold like this, the salt's not as effective. The heavy snow started falling after midnight in Lakewood, Rocky River, Fairview Park, and Cleveland's west side. It depends on the year. Some years we'll get, some years we'll get, you know, six or seven blasts like it and, you know, some years it'll be like last year where we don't get any. You know, it's just uh, just the luck of the draw on the wind, you know. By afternoon, roads and moods were improving. To me, it's okay, but a lot of people don't like it. I was born in the winter, so I love this weather, so I don't have no problem with it. I think it's really kind of cool. You don't have a choice. If you're living in a certain climate, find out the good things about it. One of them is, I think, snow makes the day look very bright, and I don't have to travel far in it. Now, it was live from this very sidewalk at noon, and it was shoveled. You can see they got a little bit more snow and wind throughout the day here in Lakewood. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, why a new type of traffic light might be a little too cool, why it's cause for concern in weather like this. Live in Lakewood tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. All right, Paul, thanks a lot.